man, to me, the German Bull, it's, it's huge. It really means a lot to me. What's good, Lattimore? Last practice of the year. Hey, oh my God, man. Go. Come back quick. We got one more, baby. One more. Make it count. Oh. Last practice of the year for the German Bull. You know, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have played in four German Bulls already. Um, and each one gets more and more special, especially for me as I get older and I get more perspective on life and football and I realize how precious a game like this is. <sighs> guys, 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 packing for the Durham Bowl. It's Friday, the day before the Durham Bowl. Um, we are leaving in a couple hours. Bus drive up to Frankfurt. We'll stay the night at the hotel in Frankfurt and play tomorrow. And beautiful. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> It's a video. <laughs> Italians have arrived at the hotel. Cody's gonna be mad because I'm on his side of the room, but it has better lighting over here. So need to do it. Anything for the shop. Anything the All right, checked into the hotel. Now we're gonna go over to the stadium, do a little walk through, get a feel for the field. Yeah, that's what's up. Louis Bach with the mustache of a millennium right there. Look at that. That's powerful. <laughs> Chilling here, getting a little feel for the stadium, kind of the atmosphere, the fields, the stands, how big everything is, and uh, good time to get uh, nice and mentally prepared. Christian Cope's yelling at me. Sick pants, Cope. Very cool pants. I'm a really big visualizer, so I've visualized how it's gonna be. I'm really looking forward to running out of the tunnel. That's always so exciting, especially in a big stadium like that at the highest level here in Europe. Uh, I'm super excited for that. And just to have the opportunity to play against such a good team, Dresden, uh, I'm super excited to be able to go against their high-powered offense. Uh, they've been dominating all year, and so for me as a defensive player, it's exciting to have that challenge. This is tradition right here, four big games, Cody and I, eating our cold meals, watching some sort of football thing on our thing. This is a unicorn tradition. Great matchup versus a really, really good team. So the German Bowl was under one. The Monarchs have five, six very good ballfängers and a new running back. There was Whaley, they have just been completely verpflichted. But that's a fast pass from Carter Samuels and he is fullständig bis to the 25 yard line. The Dresden started out with the ball. We were able to stop them. We got the ball, they were able to stop us. And then Dresden eventually ended up striking first with a touchdown to their receiver. Samuels wirft über die Mitte, der Receiver ist frei, das ist der Touchdown für die Dresden Monarchs und der Ball gefangen von Daryl Stewart, da ist der amerikanische Top Receiver der Monarchs und er macht den ersten Punkt im Spiel. A little while after that we were able to strike back with a deep touchdown pass to Rudy. Aufwand, erst da und zehn, Aufwand Richtung Endzone, da ist Rutenbeck und Rutenbeck ist frei und der Pass. So Dresden had the ball in our red zone, they ran a draw play, and Cody made a huge play by forcing a fumble on the running back. He lost the ball and we were able to recover it in the end zone. 
At this point, Alex, who was an absolute warrior for even playing in this game, had broken his collarbone. So our new backup quarterback, Riley Hennessy, he stepped in. Erster Versuch und Goal. Das bedeutet kein First Down mehr vor der Endzone möglich. Hier ist Hennessy Richtung Endzone und da ist er. Touchdown, Schwäbisch Hall, Tyler Rutenbeck. Through a beautiful back shoulder touchdown pass to Rudy. Play action here from Riley Hennessy and Tyler Rutenbeck. And that's also one of his new After halftime, we extended our lead with another touchdown pass, this time to Yannick Meyer. Schaut Richtung Endzone. Wirft und da ist der Receiver völlig frei. Das ist der Touchdown, Yannick Meyer. Oh, ich habe mal gehört, um einen Film zu zitieren, wenn ich diese Mütze rumdrehe, ist es wie wenn ich eine Maschine anwerfe. Then Dresden was able to answer with a touchdown run on a draw play. Carter Samuels mit dem Draw zu DeVar Whaley, da tut sich eine Riesenlücke auf! Whaley, Touchdown! Dresden Monarchs! DeVar Whaley! Und diesmal behält er den Ball! We had some more defensive battles, trading back and forth. Some tough plays for us, blocked punt, some things that just didn't go our way. Dresden was able to capitalize, kicking two field goals. And the kick from Finke is good. 35 yards in the Yeah, sorry, 25. Bleib mal bei der Wahrheit. At this point, it's 19 to 20. We are hoping to stop Dresden here on third down to force them to kick a field goal and then give our offensive chance to go down and score and win the game. Kommt wieder der Draw. Nein, das ist Play Action und da ist der Pass und der ist gefangen. Der ist gefangen und das ist der Touchdown durch Radim Carlos. Die Haller spekulieren auf die Interception und werden bestraft. Touchdown Dresden. We are unable to stop them and they uh, end up getting in the end zone for one more touchdown. Ganz starkes Play von Radim Carlos. And that is where the game ended. I'll tell you what, man, this game, this this one hurts. This is probably the most painful loss I've ever had in my sports career. Um, it really hurts. It, it sucks a lot. There's just not much else to say. And we failed. I mean, we failed to do what we set out to do. And we just didn't get the job done. There's just no way around it. There's no way around saying it. Um, can't really sugarcoat it at all. It's, I just have to face it. We just have to face it that we lost, we failed. Well, we lost, sucks. I have to get drug tested now. Bleed. Don't feel good, do not feel good. Really sucks, man. Really sucks. After the game, I had to get drug tested, so I just got pulled off the field right after the game, and I had to go in and get drug tested. I'm a mess. I'm bleeding. I'm crying. I'm just hurting. Just not my finest moment, guys. Not my finest moment at all. Here's the thing, though, I'm, and I try to find like the positive in in all of this because you know, and I say this all the time. It's like. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. I mean, and I'm not gonna say that losing the German Bowl happened to us, you know, it's kind of in our hands, it's kind of our fault, but how am I gonna respond? How are we gonna respond to this situation? We have always after the German Bowl, whether we win or lose, we have the Mark Plotz celebration here in Schleibisch Hall. And I said this in 2019, seeing our Schwabish Hall Unicorns fans come out for that celebration and to support us and be there during this really, really hard time where we feel sad and disappointed. To have them come out during this time it is an absolutely beautiful thing that really means the world to us and it's something special. I mean, it's one thing to support your team and show up when they win. Anyone can do that. but. 
for the Unicorns community, Shrebish Hall community to be there and to support us when we had this really disappointing loss. And it's just a great, great thing. And there's a little bit of a silver lining there. And so thank you guys so much, Unicorns fans, Shrebish Hall community, for that support for us. You know, people love to show all of the uh, highlights and great stuff on social media and YouTube. And, you know, I do that sometimes, but uh, I also like to share the some of the tough stuff such as this so um, no big huge revelation or lesson that I've learned from this just yet maybe I need to sit on it for a little bit longer but um, it's just something that I've got to face that we've got to face life goes on there will be something to be learned from it but guys uh, I want to say thank you so much for all the support uh, for the football season uh, thank you guys for the support here on YouTube really appreciate it and um, more stuff to come, guys. The show will go on. All right, that's all for today. Thanks so much. Have a lovely day, and I will see you next time.